This is an overview of the SVG animation widget by Unlimited Elements. It animates SVGs automatically. To get started, search for SVG animation inside of your widgets pane. Drag the widget inside of your element or column, and as you can see what it does, it animates SVGs automatically. I will show you where you can download these kind of SVGs, and I will show you how you can also make an SVG in Adobe Illustrator. So over here, inside of the general settings, what we have are three settings. The first setting is for pasting your SVG code. Take in mind that this widget works only with stroke SVGs and not with fill SVGs. You can set up a delay. This will delay the animation once you scroll to it and it will delay how many amount of seconds you desire. Inside of duration, we can push up the duration, for example, to five seconds. And now you can see the SVG is drawing itself really, really slow, which is taking five seconds. Inside of the style tab, you can change the color of your SVG and you can change the alignment. So that's just a, an example of how you change the color and alignment. Now I'm going to show you from where you can get these type of SVGs. There is a website called Nucleo. We also have a link inside of the widget and I will also post a link in the description of the video on YouTube. Let's jump into the website. Over here in the website, you're going to want to change a couple of settings. The first setting is to choose only icons that are stroke. So over here, we're going to choose outline. And in size, I'm going to filter this to 64, just so it won't be so small. But you can use any size that you need. And over here, we can play around with the stroke. So if you want them to be thinner or thicker, you can play around with the stroke. I'm going to leave it at two. Search for a keyword in the search box. And I'm going to copy my SVG code. To copy the SVG code, click on the code icon over here once and then you'll see the SVG code. Click on the copy button and it will copy it to your clipboard. Go back to Elementor and paste the SVG code instead of the current code. Now look how nice that is. It's just animating it automatically. Take in mind this doesn't work for all the icons. It will work for most of them, but it does not work for all of them. Let's jump in Adobe Illustrator and I'll show you how you can create your own code. So over here, I'm just going to write some text using the text tool. So I'll write unlimited and make this bigger using the transform. Center that. Over here, it's really important before we change this into outlines that we bring this back to the default fill and stroke. So you can use the quick button over here. Click on that once. Now you can right click and choose create outline. Perfect. Now our text is outlines, which is actually a shape. And now we can get the SVG code. Before we get the SVG code, I'm going to eliminate all the white space from here. To do that, I'm going to click document setup, edit artboards. And over here in preset, I'll choose fit to artwork bounds. Now we can save this as an SVG. Over here, choose SVG and click save. And before clicking OK, just click SVG code. Going to copy the code, Command or Control A, Command or Control C to copy. And I'm going to jump back into Elementor and replace the current SVG code with the code that I've just created inside of Adobe Illustrator. Look how awesome that is. I want to thank you guys for joining me in this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.